Hey guys, how you going? It's Iski here. Pretty excited. I just got back from the tip and just ran down here into the, you know, to my shop, what I actually do for a crust, uh, to grab my camera and I uh, thought, let's go up and have a look. You know, it's a projector. It's in the description. Um, but uh, will it work? That's what we want to find out. So let's do this. I'm going to have to turn my camera off, uh, flip you over to the rear camera because we're on my mobile. And... Uh, yeah, we'll go take his up there and open up the car, do a bit of an unvanning, and uh, check this thing out. All right, here we go. Hey! We want to come over here to the door. Oh, needs a good clean. Get us past this beautiful Carmen gear, which still needs fixing. Okay, now, <laughs> honestly, this isn't gonna work. All right, so let's have a look. Let's open this up. Ugh. What's that? Looking good, all right. So we gotta move this, <laughs> I picked this up. You can see it's been pushed by the dozer already. Um, I just grabbed this for parts. So I'm just gonna set you down there. Pull this out. All right. Okay, what do we got? Yeah, the best part is, best part is, I've got a remote control. Never find the remote controls for projectors. So we have here, an Epson EHTW3500, 3500. And it looks like it's in really good shape, physically anyway. So, I guess there's not much more to say. I don't know what the specs are for this machine. I've actually just bought myself a projector to get me by, because of course a lot of you know that I'm um, building my own home cinema. and. The, the thing is, I'm actually building it out of stuff that I find from the tip. It's going to be a really, really, really cool and eventually very expensive cinema. But um, for the moment, I'm seeing if I can build it with using equipment um, that I find at the tip. And uh, so far, I've got some incredible stuff, like stuff that most guys who have incredible stuff would, would be envious of. But um, yeah, so I found... A projector almost exact well it looks physically it looks exactly the same although it's gray and that model was an EHTW 5500 and uh, that is probably I think one of the best of this particular style that they made because it's got like this ultra black I think it was 200,000 to one black levels or something like that but um yeah I couldn't get that going I'm still looking for another one a broken one because I need the main board now, I actually see these all the time, this particular projector. Um, they seem to make a regular appearance on eBay and Gumtree and uh, Facebook Marketplace. In fact, I think there's a couple in my area people are trying to sell for a hundred bucks. Um, it's got like picture faults or green tints in the screen or something. So I don't think that the majority of those faults are repairable, but uh, who knows, this projector here might be from someone who just wanted to um, upgrade and um, didn't feel like spending another, you know, how many hundreds of dollars the bulbs cost, so they just turfed it. Uh, not everyone wants to sell stuff on Gumtree and Facebook, and quite frankly, I don't blame them. Some of the people you have to put up with are just nuts. But um, yeah, this is exciting for me, so I'm just gonna pick this up. We're gonna go down into my cinema home cinema that I'm building because I've actually got a screen already up and uh, let's turn it on and see what happens see if it turns on at all but um cool all right okay so that's it so I've set it up I thought we just walk down the driveway just go backwards to the way we came when we were going up to the van go back through these doors and I'll show you where the cinema is oops let's get through here 
and you can see this big opening in the wall <laughs> and this is where I'm building the cinema it's going to be eight meters long by about five and a half to six meters wide viewing area I should say but um, just for now I've just set it up on the end of my cutout table and uh, we've got this projector screen, well, projector screen here. Um, actually, you can see this one up here, this projector here. I bought this a few weeks ago. It's it's a uh, an Epson EHTW 5600. And it is doing a fantastic job, <laughs> even though I bought it as a, um, as a, a temp temporary projector. It, um, just while I build everything, I want to get the screen right, okay? Um, I just want to be able to sit down in the seats and, and get the, the viewing distances and all of that right. So I need a picture on the screen. So I went and bought that 5600 Epson. But um, if I was seriously wishing I could find something like this, it would have saved me easily five or six hundred bucks. But um, listen, I don't think this is going to work, but um, let's turn it on. I haven't turned it on yet. I've just plugged it in, ready to hit that power switch underneath. Um, it's going to be out of focus if it actually turns on at all. So let's do this. Um, hey Google, turn off the cinema lights. All right. So let's hit that. Got it. Okay, so we got the main power on. We've got like a, a, a standby light indicator at least. So let's hit that power. Oh, I can hear relays. Come on, is it going to start? Well, the fans, have, I can hear the fans. Oh, I can see light. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's actually upside down, the screen. Whoa, could this work? Let's um, mess around with... Oh, did it just turn itself off? What happened? Oh, no. Oh, we still got... Oh, looks like it's actually got a source. Um, so, where's the... Oh, you know what I need? I need a torch. <laughs> Let's grab this torch off the... That's what we need. I can see on this screen that it's got H... Uh, it's got this... Source HDMI no signal, but it looks like it could be a the wrong color. So maybe it does have like a tint to it. So let's hit this menu button just here. Ah, oh, yeah, that doesn't ah see that. Hmm. So we've got like a a reddish color along the top here and a bluish color down there. Hmm. You know what, guys? I think I was watching a YouTube video where they were fixing a similar image to this. Yeah, so a similar problem. I'm not sure. I'll have to go back and do some research, but this might be fixable. Um, and you know what I remember is that it was most, mostly happening to projectors that were being... Um, hung upside down off a ceiling and what would happen was some kind of filter or something would actually come loose and it needed to be re-clicked inside so I don't know that might be what we're seeing here I'm not sure but um, I think what we should do is actually oh, what's the easiest thing let's maybe pull the HDMI lead out from the back of this 5600 and plug it in the back of that one down there, hey? Uh, and I'm going to need some light. Hey, Google, turn on the cinema lights. Whenever you're ready. There we go. Okay, so let's just... Oh, pull the HDMI out of the back of that. Oh, now that I think about it, I don't think my HTPC is turned on. Oh, and this cord is going to be too... Hmm. Hang on, listen guys, I'm going to shut you down. I'll be back because I have to actually 
make a path for this cord because it's going around there. It's going to be easy if I just turn everything on and um, get back and we'll do the, the whole grand turning on of with some well, of the projector with an image on it at least. Okay, we're back and I've hooked up my computer and uh, that's what we're getting. Interesting. So the top third of the screen is like a red or a pinkish hue and the bottom is like a blue. And uh, I've done a little bit of research and uh, I'm not really sure if I've got the same problem, but there are hundreds of people out there who have this exact same problem with a lot of other projectors, including this model I might, ask, might add, where they're getting the exact same effect, but the, it's only kind of encroaching on the top part of the image and the bottom part, the exact same colors, but they're just kind of, you know, a lot of the, if you watch a movie with the black bars, the black bars are enough to cover it up. But um, mine seems to be a very exaggerated version of what all these other people are experiencing. I've only done about 10 minutes of research on this. Um, I did come across a video on YouTube and this guy is just getting praised by all these other people. So, um, he's fixed the problem and he says um, that because there's so much heat generated by these projectors, that uh, what's happening, and a lot of the components are glued, mind you, mind you, and um, he says it's mainly happening with the projectors that are being hung from the ceiling and the gravity and the heat are just working with each other and they're just causing things to misalign and anyway he's got this full-on instructional vid I'll actually put a link in the description and um, yeah he's actually um, goes in takes the motherboard out and just gets down to these filters or some parts of the projector and he just pushes on these things until he hears a click and it just clicks back into place and voila they're fixed and there's all these people that are trying it and saying that you're a legend, mate. You just saved me three and a half, four grand. Um, so he's onto something. I'm not sure if it's going to fix this problem, but I've got a pretty good feeling. Um, so I'm going to give it a go. I'll do a bit more research, but I think this projector could possibly be worth um, fixing. Oh, it's definitely worth fixing if it's an easy fix like that. If it doesn't cost you any money, especially if we pick this up and from the dump, so thank you whoever dumped it. But um, I think uh, what we'll do, we'll do this on a separate uh, video. This is just a video to show you what I found at the tip. I was pretty excited. I still am a little bit excited. At least it doesn't seem to be a burnt LCD panel by the looks of things. It just needs some realigning. So let's um, revisit this shortly and see if we can fix it because it's still a pretty good projector, full on 1080p. And uh, yeah, so, well, I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Um, yeah, subscribe if you want to see what how this turns out. Um, you know, otherwise subscribe anyway if you want to see how this entire home cinema turns out because it's going to be an interesting build. All right, catch you on the next one.